Hello, hello everyone. It is Daily Space Observations and welcome back to another video. Well, it's been a while, but I finally had the time to do another observation. I, I spent almost four hours focusing on the moon and the Orion Nebula, and I must say I got some pretty good shots. I started using the auto stacker and, um, and Registax for stacking and processing my videos, and it's going very well. At least f for my first time, I'd say it's been pretty good. It, it could use some work, but I'll get there. So yeah, this is this will be a bit of a different kind of upload. I have some new things planned for the kind of observation videos on my channel, and this video will show part, if not most, of what I have planned. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoy. Located in Orion's belt and shining at an apparent magnitude of 5, the Orion Nebula, also known as M42, is a bright, beautiful, diffuse nebula that's very easily visible to the naked eye in dark skies as a small patch in Orion's sword. The Orion Nebula is very well known for being the brightest nebula in the sky, making it an extremely popular target for amateur and experienced astrophotographers alike. To understand what makes the Orion Nebula so bright, we will have to take a look at its core, where a quadruple star known as Trapezium 1, A, B, C, and D rests. These four stars light up the gas of the Orion Nebula, making it emit more light than other nebulas. The Tycho Crater, located on the bottom left side of the moon, is unlike many craters on the moon. Tycho is sharply defined by a long, bright, distinctive ray system, whose spikes could reach as long as 1500 kilometers. This has made Tycho one of the moon's greatest sights and a popular target for astrophotographers. Mm -hmm. 